billionaires have been selling off their stocks, making billions in profits. This raises the question, is this the peak of the market, or is there still potential for growth? Jeff Bezos, one of these billionaires, for a time was the second richest person in the world, right behind Elon Musk. As the founder of Amazon, owner of Blue Origin, and the Washington Post, Bezos's net worth is approximately $190 billion. He made headlines after selling 50 million Amazon shares, valued at about $8.5 billion, a transaction reported to the SEC in November 2023. Bezos planned to sell the shares by January 31st, 2025, but he quickly sold all 50 million by February 20th, 2024, in just two weeks. While 8.5 billion dollars may seem significant, it's relatively minor for Bezos, who still owns 10% of Amazon. With Amazon's market capitalization exceeding $1.8 trillion, Bezos's remaining shares are worth around $180 billion, making the recent sale less than 5% of his total Amazon stock a mere fraction of his vast wealth. Jeff Bezos isn't the only billionaire selling off stocks recently. Meta Platform CEO Mark Zuckerberg has also been active, selling nearly $500 million worth of Meta stock in the final months of 2023. Zuckerberg, with a net worth of approximately $176 billion, making him the fourth richest person globally, holds around 350 million shares of Meta, constituting the bulk of his wealth. In an interesting development, Meta announced its first ever dividend payout on February 2nd, 2024, which will provide Zuckerberg with $700 million in passive income annually. Like Bezos, Zuckerberg arranged his stock sales through the SEC's 10B51 plan, aiming to sell $428 million worth of shares by February 1st, 2024. He began selling shares daily from November 1st, 2023 until December 29th, 2023. Another notable figure selling stock is Jamie Dimon, the long-serving CEO of JP Morgan, with a net worth of $2.1 billion. Although not as wealthy as Bezos or Zuckerberg, Dimon's sale of $150 million worth of JP Morgan shares is significant, as it marks the first time he has sold any of his shares in the bank. This wave of sales from billionaires like Bezos, Zuckerberg, and Dimon raises questions about the market's direction and their motivations. And recently, politicians have been making trades that significantly outperform the general market. As the stock market rises, retail investors have seen substantial growth in their portfolios, with the S&P 500 increasing by up to 27% over the past year. This growth is impressive for individual investors, but it doesn't compare to the gains made by some politicians who seem to have an uncanny ability to time the market. In fact, a closer examination of certain trades made at specific times raises questions about whether these politicians had an unfair advantage. This issue was highlighted in a report by Unusual Wales, an anonymous group focusing on congressional insider trading and corporate lobbying. According to their findings, the S&P 500 saw a 24.8% increase, yet 32 politicians notably outperformed this index, with four achieving over 100% returns. For example, Brian Higgins stood out with a staggering 238.9% gain, largely due to his long-term investment in NVIDIA since 2017. The likelihood of these outcomes being mere coincidence is low, suggesting the possibility of insider trading among politicians. Nancy Pelosi, the San Francisco representative and former Speaker of the House, has faced accusations of insider trading. Despite earning a yearly salary of $223,000, Pelosi's net worth is around $165 million. These allegations suggest she might have exploited her position for financial gain. A specific case involves Pelosi making significant profits from NVIDIA call options bought on November 22, 2023. This was a bet that NVIDIA's stock prices would rise, which they did by 85%, earning the Pelosi's $1.8 million in just 93 days. This trade was executed minutes before the market closed while Congress was in session, raising eyebrows about the timing and the potential for insider knowledge. Interestingly, Pelosi had been trading millions in NVIDIA stocks since the summer of 2022, before voting on a semiconductor bill initiated by the Biden administration. A month later, she proposed a bill with Representative Lofgren to ban congressional trading, 
but the bill was criticised for being weak and riddled with loopholes, leading to speculation that it might have been intentionally ineffective. Pelosi had paused her trading activities, but couldn't resist making a significant investment in NVIDIA in late 2023, seeing it as too good an opportunity to pass up. There's a video where Pelosi is asked whether her husband has traded based on insider information Shep provided. She firmly denied it, but the authenticity of her denial is up for debate. Insider trading is illegal, yet it seems politicians manage to evade consequences because they set the rules. For example, a Texas man was caught by the SEC for profiting $1.8 million by trading on information overheard from his wife's work calls. This incident highlights how closely monitored and penalized insider trading can be for the public, yet politicians seem to navigate these waters with ease, often making stock trades that result in unusually high returns. These trades raise questions about timing and whether insider information plays a role. The success of such investments depends not just on the buying, but also on the precise timing of selling. The recent trend of politicians selling their stocks within a short time frame adds another layer of intrigue to the discussion on insider trading among politicians. Looking back at past trends, billionaires often sold stocks at peak prices during previous market cycles. For instance, Jeff Bezos sold Amazon stock in November 2021, around the time he pledged $2 billion from his Earth Fund at the COP26 climate summit to restore nature and transform food systems. These sales, coincidentally, also amounted to about $2 billion, contributing to a total of $8.8 billion in sales for that year, following a $10 billion sale the year before. Shortly after these sales, Amazon's share value dropped, the purpose behind this year's sales isn't explicitly stated, but the timing aligns with Amazon's share price increasing by 12% since the year's start. Similarly, Mark Zuckerberg sold over a billion dollars of Meta stock in November 2021, a period when Meta's share price was at one of its lowest points since 2015. With Meta's share price rallying by 194% throughout 2023, Zuckerberg's decision to sell seems logical. However, unlike Bezos, Zuckerberg is expected to pay significant taxes on his profits, including a 24% capital gains tax and a 13.3% state tax in California. It's important to highlight Elon Musk's sale of Tesla stock throughout 2022, initiated in late 2021, when he sold about $4 billion worth to finance his Twitter purchase, now called X. Musk sold 10% of his Tesla stock following a Twitter poll he presented to his 62.5 million followers. The day before this poll, his brother Kimball, a Tesla board member, sold 88,500 shares worth $109 million. Musk announced in December that year he wouldn't sell any more Tesla stock for 18 months. Yet X's financial health could influence future decisions. The platform faced challenges, including a significant advertising pause that Musk said could have endangered the company in just a week without ads. This led to a drastic staff reduction of 80% in 2022 due to daily losses of about $4 million. If X continues to struggle, Musk might be forced to sell more Tesla stock before June to support it. Considering the simultaneous timing of portfolio offloads by elite investors, the reasons they provide for selling should perhaps be viewed skeptically, especially given the recent significant gains in the stock market. This level of stock selling by billionaires looks quite similar to what was observed before previous market crashes. And thus, this pattern, performed by individuals with a history of accurately timing the market, is something to watch closely. For example, Jamie Dimon's unprecedented sale of shares in his own bank raises questions about his views on the future of the US banking sector and whether he anticipates a crisis. Further fueling speculation about potential looming crises, Mark Zuckerberg is constructing a $270 million underground bunker in Hawaii with blast-proof doors, suggesting preparations for extreme scenarios. Workers on this massive bunker project have been required to sign NDAs, though Zuckerberg's land purchases in Hawaii make his involvement an open secret. He's not alone in preparing for dire situations. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman and PayPal co-founder Peter Thiel have plans for a shared bunker in New Zealand as a refuge in case of global calamities. Though ironically, their bunker construction faced setbacks due to environmental concerns. 
amid these preparations for catastrophic events, there's also speculation about an impending large-scale cyber attack. This is highlighted by Nancy Pelosi's recent investment in Palo Alto Networks, a cybersecurity firm, shortly after Congress was briefed on a serious national cybersecurity threat. This investment has raised eyebrows, suggesting Pelosi might be acting on insider information regarding potential future cyber attacks. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing to the channel for more financial news and analysis.